light and this light. Uh, let's just see how big these are. That'll probably work. And we'll go down, turn on the shadow cast, self shadow, try to receive. Um, let's change it right away to turbulence. Up here in turbulence. And let's see how this looks. Okay. Um, I didn't add the light that causes this heat for a reason. Uh, I found that what looks good, the, the attenuation settings that look good for a mushroom cloud head did not really work out well for the stem, so we're just going to add another light uh, in there for the stem. Yeah, we'll just call this stem. Uh, let's go in here, let's do the same thing though. We'll just have slightly different uh, uh, attenuation values. Uh, let's make this like 10, 10.1 and 30. Let's show that. go into our afterburn and add it. Let's take another render. Oh right. Yeah, come on. There we go. And let's change this to multiplier of one. And render that again. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to increase. You know what, Chris Max? Not quite enough to use SAS. Okay, let's change this to 20. And change this to 40. the fall off I was hoping for. <laughs> um, fine, make this the exact same setting as the other light defeating the purpose. Alright, it's a little bright in there. I might lower this see what this looks like. That was a little too much. We will maybe put it up to say 0 0.8. Let's see what this looks like. That's good enough. Uh, if you want to play with these settings, you're obviously more than welcome to. Um, okay. Uh, this looks a little dark here. I would, I'm going to, uh, just change, uh, let's make this ambient color, key this, move it up a bit from perfect black, and, uh, let's see what this looks like. And now it's a little bit too bright, so we'll go back in and make it a little, yeah, about that. Alright, that's, ah, that's good enough for me. Um, you can, like, again, you can finesse as you will. Okay, um, now for one of the most important things well, maybe not the most, but it is very important. Um, phase. I'm going to turn off that. Just for, um, phase is what I was talking about before, where you can, if, if we didn't animate phase, this would just be, it looked like a, 
like a bunch of cotton balls just stuck to this and uh, the shape of the cotton balls won't be changing, it'll just be rolling but um, when we animate phase we animate the um, shape of the particle um, and that mimics uh, like a, a flow of uh, uh, smoke um, dynamics uh, it's not obviously not physically correct but it looks good so um, just under the the turbulence uh, modifier uh, drop down um, right click on this here uh, enable it and then our animation is 100 frames long so we're just, I'm just going to make this like 110 um, maybe a variance of 15 and we'll do the same thing for uh, the stem I uh, hope this is not going too long, I don't want to bore everyone but Nuke is one of the things I really want to create in 3ds Max and after a while finally figured it out thanks to a lot of people on YouTube so we gotta get back to the community you know what I'm saying alright that looks good um, we're about done actually um, you'll notice just for the sake of noticing uh, when we render it it'll change just that's just because the face is now changed as it's right in the middle of the animation uh, and if you want to animate uh, excuse me lasagna. Um, if you want to animate the head moving up and down you can uh, that's what I did in my other video and uh, if you want to animate the stem moving up and down you can uh, make sure the stem moves faster than the head so it looks like smoke is being drawn up in there but uh, go, uh, go ahead and just adjust one more thing you don't have to do this I think it looks more realistic but I think our density fall off to cubic maybe making our density 2 uh, you can see how it changes things. It smoke. Um, I mean, nuclear smoke would be pretty dense, but I think uh, lowering the density just kind of makes it gives a more realistic feel. Um, the one thing is, though, the lower your density, um, the longer your windows will take. That's something to keep in mind. Okay, um, I think that covers just about everything. I'm not going to render this out into an animation. Um, in my other video, I added stuff like uh, smoke falling down from from the cloud, uh, stuff like that. I'm not going to do that here. Uh, what I might do is, for those of you who don't have 3ds Max, um, I might render out. Uh, alpha layer PNGs and just upload them to the internet so that you can download them and use them in your movies if you want. I don't care uh, if you have After Effects or some sort of compositing software to let you do that. Um, if people want them, just, just let me know. And yeah, this has been a tutorial. Uh, took me a while to get all this stuff right in this recording software. Uh, so if some stuff has been lost through the cracks that I forgot, um, just let me know. Make sure to clear up any confusion people have. But uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe.